You know where Dublin is, don't you? But Dublin Core comes from Dublin, Ohio. Hi, my name is Andreas Hensel and I make videos on business process automation. In this video, I'll show you how to encourage the use of Dublin Core metadata when uploading documents to Liferay portal. I'll define a Liferay metadata set and a document type for simple Dublin Core. Then I'll show you how to use this document type with a PDF document. You can download a free Liferay metadata set that you can directly import into your own Liferay instance. The link is in the description below. So let's go to the computer. Okay, first thing is um, we are logged in as the administrator here in uh, the Liferay portal and um, we go to content and data documents and media and here you have a tab uh, that says metadata sets and um, in there you can define your own metadata set but I've done that already and so uh, what I'll do now is I'll import that from a LAR file um, that I have used here after defining the Dublin Core metadata set so I select the file and um, I use this LAR file that I have exported before and continue import and then it says successful which is good and now we can look at the uh, Dublin Core metadata set here and uh, so we have um, the creator here so um, this is a required field and also the date. What is also required is a description and a title, but as this is already in the Liferay metadata for every document we upload, I didn't duplicate that here. And then we have an identifier, we can have more than one identifiers, type, format, subject, and so on and so on. Um, these are all the 15 simple elements of the Dublin Core. So they are in here right now. Um, the next thing is um, I will create a document type based on this metadata set. So I go to document types here and currently we don't have any document types so I add one and um, I first give it a title um, document with Dublin Core. You may call this whatever you like. And um, then I'll go here to the right hand side, additional metadata fields, and I select the Dublin Core metadata um, I have defined before. And I save that. So now I have a document type, document with Dublin Core. Um, here I have to refresh the page. So now what I'll do is I'll upload a document. Um, here in documents and media and I go to the folder that is already there by default with the default documents in here and I click on the plus sign and I now say document with Dublin Core. This is my new document type and then I can select a file and I'll take the YAWL user manual now and so it already fills in the title for me. The file name is there and what I need now is the description. And um, so I will just enter a description here. Um, the document type is document with Dublin Core. And now I'll enter the creator. I enter a date, so this was created in December 22. Um, the identifier is the URL for this document. That's all we have. I mean, you can take a DOI or whatever if you have anything better than that. And now the type is um, of course text here 
the format is uh, a PDF, application PDF. So this is the MIME type. And the subject is um, information science. So this should come from a controlled vocabulary. And now it says success completed. So somehow um, I clicked on return and now this is already finished. So what I have to do now, I have to click on the document, go to edit again, and then scroll down to where I left off. Um, so uh, the publisher is the Yaw Foundation. There are no additional contributors, coverage, I don't fill this in. Um, language is English. And that's it, so I publish the document. So, after some time it has created a thumbnail here and a preview and um, we can click on the new document in the Documents and Media library and go to this information icon here and then we can see the metadata. So we have the preview here. Um, we have some metadata that are always created by LifeRay and if we scroll down we have the Dublin Core metadata here and um, as you can see um, the metadata we entered are now visible here. Um, in addition to that um, there are some metadata fields for example the contributor which we didn't fill in um, this is appearing here, although it's an empty field, and it's appearing with the more or less help text that we put in in the first place. Coverage is the same thing, so I think there's some room for optimization uh, at this place. And that's it. In this video, I have used the 15 simple Dublin Core elements. Even 15 elements may be daunting for your users and you may want to boil that down. You may also replace certain general elements with more specific ones and I put a link to the Dublin Core metadata instructions in the description below. If you still want more metadata, you can even add specific metadata sets and combine them with Dublin Core in more advanced document types. What are you doing with metadata in your organization? Let me know in the comments.